Hello, all you lovely people. We've got 10 hands of bridge to play tonight, as usual. So let's just get stuck in. North's open to heart. And what have we got there? 10, 16 high card points. So we're definitely going to game. Uh, maybe slam, not sure, but we're definitely going to game. What's the best way to proceed here and for me this is just a very easy one spade bid what we, what i don't want to be doing now is jumping around uh bidding too high because i want as much room as possible to figure out what partners got the time for expressing our strength will come later no danger of one spade being passed because i've changed the suit Okay, so now we're in a much better place. So now North has said two hearts. So we know North's got at least five, probably six card heart suit and a minimum sort of a hand. So 12, you know, if North had a six card heart suit and 16 points or something, he might have chosen to bid three hearts. So we're expecting North to be sort of minimum hand with a, a long heart suit. And I've gone off the idea of bidding slam tonight. Well, not tonight, on this hand anyway. Um, it's not so great, you know, 28 points between the two hands. It's, it's no big fit anywhere. So three no trumps is going to be high enough for me. Uh, I could do something else fancy, but I doubt we're going to get a bad board by simply playing three no trumps. Uh, SB saying Akhol tonight. Yeah, I'm playing four card majors and a weak no trump tonight. Uh, I honestly don't think uh, if it's going to make a difference for the standard players, I'll try and um, talk about it. Uh, yeah. All right. So this looks, yeah, this looks pretty good. We certainly didn't happy not to be in a slam because we're missing two aces missing the ace of clubs and the ace of diamonds so game's high enough and this looks pretty good uh what's north got there seven hearts and i've got one so that's eight between the two hands so we're missing five hearts so if the heart suit breaks three two so we're missing five if the heart suit breaks three and two, which it probably will, then we're going to be able to take seven heart tricks. If the hearts don't break, then we could be in trouble. <laughs> but this looks like a pretty good contract. So ace of clubs, fine. Queen of clubs. Now I'm going to, I'm just going to win the king of clubs and hope the hearts run. Now I'm playing match point pairs here i'm playing duplicate so the over tricks are really important and if the hearts break i'm going to get the rest of the tricks so um here we go if the hearts don't break like i said we're going to be in strife but we just gotta here we go fingers crossed okay hearts break so we've got the rest of the tricks so it's four tricks already we've got five heart tricks I miscounted. Hang on. Four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, sorry, we've lost one. Sorry, we've lost we lost that first trick already. So yeah, so twelve tricks for four already, five heart tricks and three more spade tricks. So we are good to go. And David in Queensland, glad you made it, David. Nice to see you here. Um, hey Margaret from Perth. All these Aussie, Aussie, Aussies. Aussies just beat the Kiwis in the cricket today. <laughs> Unusual. Diana from Scotland. Hi, Diana. Sarah, SB from um, Canada. Always nice to see you, SB. Terence in Seattle. Marianne from Rotorua. Hey, hey, Ian. Okay, so that's that's all good. And yep, seldom um, 
if you know Trump's might be the right contract, it's just a good one to bid. It's it's very you're a brave soul to avoid three no trumps if it might be the right contract. Uh, okay, let's play hand two. And yep, Diane is saying which system. Um, I am playing Akol today, so just for those not sure for the standard plays, Akol just means four card majors. So it's okay to open a four card major. And a one no trump opening is 12 to 14. Standard players, um, five card majors and a 15 to 17 no trump. Honestly, I don't really, I don't mind what system I play. I just don't really think it matters too much. That everyone's got their favorites. Sarah's saying, could we have been slammed there? Because uh -uh, we were missing two aces, Sarah. We were missing the ace of clubs and the ace of diamonds. So that was not a slam we want to be in missing two aces. We made 12, sure. But, you know, had we been in six, then the opposition may have defended differently and just taken their two aces and down we would have go, gone. Okay, uh, hand two. Oh, another good hand. Uh, 10, 14 high card points. So uh, this is echo or standard. You know, it's amazing the number of times that the bidding ends up the same anyway. But, uh, you know, perhaps the biggest difference between the echo and the standard players, I don't think it's the five card major, four card major thing. The no trump opening range is being differently, being different. That matters. Okay, one spade, two hearts. Um, so I can do two things here. I could bid two spades uh, to show my five card spades. I could bid two no trumps. Uh, playing alcohol, that would be 15 to 17. And I sort of don't mind doing that. I, I appear to be a point short. To bid two no trumps. I am showing 15 to 17, but I've got 14, and I do have this nice five card spade suit, which is good. Kind of an extra trick there, so I can give myself a bit of an upgrade. And I kind of like it as well because if I do bid two no trumps, North will know that I've got a couple of hearts, probably. If I just bid two spades, it's a funny sort of thing, but I'm not, I kind of like to, North will know I've got. Some hearts when I bid turn of trumps. David's saying, should I show my clubs? Yeah, I, I could. The only thing is if I bid a new suit at the three level, one spade, two hearts, three clubs, I tend to be showing a stronger hand. New suit at the three level always implies a bit more strength. So I'm going to give myself a slight upgrade, bid turn of trumps, four hearts. Okay, so... Um, yeah, it's kind of it's the sort of what I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping to imply that I had a couple of hearts for North. Maybe not the best bid, I don't know, but that was my logic behind it anyway. Um, actually, you know, a very, a, a very good, fine bridge player from, um, I remember. Daryl Bob always said, um, doesn't matter if you do the wrong thing, just so long as you've got a reason. Don't do the wrong thing for no reason. If you've got a reason to do something, even if it's not a good reason, then that's, you know, at least you had a reason. So I had a reason for bidding two no trumps. Marianne saying, partner will think I've got four spades. I'm, I still might have a five card spade suit in that. Actually, let's finish the hand and then let's let's we'll, let's come back to that question, Marianne. Okay, uh, what have we got? Four hearts, so I've got uh, diamond to lose, and yeah, probably a diamond and a heart to lose. Now, I yeah. I, I do, I sort of want to play a heart to the 10 and a heart back again, but I'm just slightly concerned that 
if I lose the ace of hearts and then someone plays another diamond, if my ten of hearts is gone, if someone roughs that diamond, if I've used up my ten of hearts, I might not be able to over-rough. So I'm going to actually play the king of hearts, which is slightly blocking the heart suit. I know. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. But I'm just going to do this because I want to keep that ten of hearts. Okay, so it looks like we're okay now. Um, I'll, so again, I was worried that West wins that if West had played another diamond and East had roughed and I used up my ten of hearts, then I might have been in trouble, but this looks to be pretty good. So I can just um, to a spades. Wow. Oh, ah, how about that? So, okay, so the diamond wasn't the problem. The spades was the problem. So, you know, uh, too bad. Um, okay, uh, nothing we could do about that. Nothing at all we could do about that. Oh, now there's, there, well, that is kind of the situation I was worried about. So I'm glad now that I did keep that Ten of Hearts. See, again, had I not kept the Ten of Hearts, if I, if I played the Ten of Hearts earlier, I wouldn't have had a big heart. And I got a big heart. So I can play it without fear of being over roughed. Okay, so it wasn't, it turned out not to be a problem. Uh, okay, so I can just play Ace of Clubs, rough a club, um, and draw the last crumbs now. So well done, West, for uh, giving East that rough. Nothing we could do about it. And uh, we ended up making exactly 10 tricks. Trumping, roughing my Ace of Spades at the end there. I don't know why that's such a good score, but we'll uh, take it. So Marianne is saying partner will think I have four spades when I bid turn no trumps. It's okay to, to rebid no trumps with a five card major. So let's, let me just um, show you how this, let me just quickly give you an option, Marianne. So, oh, hang on, that's not what I want. So suppose, Oops. Suppose the bidding goes something like one spade, two hearts, two no trumps. Now, if I'm playing Akol, yes, that one spade may only be a four card suit. So North can't be sure that I've got four or five spades here. But what North can do now is bid three spades. One spade, two hearts, two no trumps, three spades just in case I did have a five-card spade suit. And if I did, then I can put four spades. If I didn't, then I can bid three no trumps. Okay. So it's okay to rebid. It's certainly no, no problem to rebid no trumps if you think your hand is suitable, even if you do have a five-card major there. Again, I don't know, maybe it wasn't the greatest bid in the world, but that's kind of why I did it. Uh, all right, so let's play hand three. I love all these questions, by the way. Um, it's really great. So don't be, um, it's always good to talk about it. I can't guarantee I'm going to give you the best or the right answer, but just let's talk it through and we can all learn together. Uh, all right, uh, 10, 11 high card points, but really nice shape, 6-5 shape. So this is great. Uh, Therese, hi, Therese, welcome. Irene in Cambridge, UK. Good morning. All right, one heart. One speed. So this is okay. Uh, so it's okay, but it's kind of 
this hand looks awesomely good, but it's if we don't have a fit anywhere, if we don't have a trump fit anywhere, it can be awesomely bad as well. These these big two suited hands can sometimes all turn to custard if we don't have a fit. So yeah, here we go. So uh, this is looking. I'm getting a little scared now because uh, North hasn't been able to support any of my suits. Three clubs here doesn't have to be a club suit. It's just the fourth suit. So North may not have clubs here, might not have clubs. He's just bidding something to keep the bidding going. I can't pass because it's the one, two, three, fourth suit. That's forcing, and it's a new suit at the three level, so I've got to do something again. Now, David's saying three hearts. Yeah, three hearts would be fine to show that I've got that um, six-card heart suit. I could also bid three diamonds to show that I've got a five-card diamond suit. And I'm actually going to go three diamonds. I don't mind three hearts, but I kind of like three diamonds. Um, by bidding three diamonds, it gives North the chance. Well, it shows that I've got the five-card diamond suit, one. And it also gives the chance for North to just delicately mention three hearts there, just to give me a chance to bid hearts. The fact that North's bid three no trumps should say, and North shouldn't even have a doubleton heart to do that. If North had a doubleton heart, he may well have bid three hearts just to give me the partial support in the heart suit. So I got to pass. I'm certainly not going to bid four hearts now because North might not have had any hearts. But with some um, not thrilled about this anymore. Okay, so North did have a doubleton heart. Really, I think North, th three hearts from North there would be better. Okay, so one heart, one spade, two diamonds, three clubs. That's all fine. But when I bid three diamonds... I can understand why North bid three no trumps, okay? It's not the worst bit in the world. But I think North could have bid three hearts there just to show partial support. And then I can bid four hearts or, you know, I could bid three no trumps or something myself. So it's sort of three hearts is sort of a suggestion, a mild suggestion to play on hearts. Uh, anyway, we're in three no trumps, which... Might not be too bad anyway. Um, it's a little awkward. It is a little awkward because we our entries back and forth look a bit grim. Um, so, you know, it's going to go 9, 10. West is going to play the queen, I'm sure. Now, I can play king of hearts and then hearts and hope the hearts... Um, uh, you know, I can play King of Hearts and finesse the heart and hope the hearts break or the Queen of Hearts is on side, so in which case got, I'll have six heart tricks. But the diamond suit's a bit blocked. So after I've taken my heart, so I go back to the King of Diamonds and then I don't have any entries to the back to the diamond suit in the south hand. So, well, I could just play the King of Diamonds and then play the hearts, hope the hearts run, and then I've still got the ace queen of diamonds. Trouble is, if the hearts don't run, then I'm no entry to the heart suit. So it's a little awkward. Uh, now, I think West has got the king queen of clubs. Pretty sure that East has led the nine, looks like nine top of a doubleton or something like that, just leading... Um, the suit we're least likely to have anything in. So I think East has got nothing in clubs and West has got King Queen. So I do probably have two club tricks if I want them. Because I can go 9, 10, Queen, Ace. I could play the Jack of Clubs and set up a club trick. So I could have two club tricks. Three diamond tricks is five. Two heart tricks is seven.
you know, it might not be a bad way to play the hand, just to play Ace of Clubs, um, set up a club trick, King of Diamonds, King of Hearts, Ace of Hearts, and hope the Queen of Hearts drops or the Jack of Diamonds falls in three rounds. That might not be terrible. I would set up the spade suit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, the 10 one. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay, I'm still, honestly, I'm still a bit torn between just playing King of Diamonds, King of Hearts, Ace of Hearts. I'm hoping the Queen of Hearts drops or the Jack of Diamonds or drops. Um, again, I could just play King of Hearts. Finesse the heart, and get five heart tricks. I don't know. It's probably safer to play King of Hearts, uh, Ace of Hearts, and keep my diamond as a uh, entry for later. But I'm just going to go for broke here. And this, if this works, it's going to be great. If it doesn't work, it's going to be terrible. I'm just going to hope that either the Queen of Hearts falls or the jack of diamonds falls. Then, all right, here we go. Come on, give me the jack of diamonds. No, none of those work. That's disappointing. Um, okay, well. Uh, that's something. Uh, eight. I'm going to play low here. I don't like the way this hand is going now, but I'm going to play low. Uh, the, remember, the 10 and 9 of clubs have gone, so East is going to win this, but then my ace jack of clubs is East can't attack the clubs anymore. So there's the diamond, so I can put your spade. Queen of spades. Ugh. That's annoying. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh, phew, phew. All right. I don't know if I played that well at all. Oh, and there's the... <laughs> all right, so we end up with... Um, where are the East and West hands? So East had King, Queen, Nine of Clubs. Yeah, okay, well, I don't know what to make of that hand. I didn't know how to play it, honestly. But um, I, had a, I had a plan. My plan kind of didn't work, but at least I had a plan. I think Teresa has, uh, Therese has, has probably said it best. <laughs> Lucky. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, question here. Can you compare some of the scores, Graham? As often I cannot understand where I've gone wrong when I see the other scores. Yeah. Okay, sure. Um, gotcha. Let's try that next time, Sarah. You do have to be a bit careful looking at all the other scores. Actually, let me let Sarah's. Let, let me just talk about Sarah's comment here. It's a good one. Can you compare the scores? As I can often understand where I've gone wrong when I see the other scores. A good question, Sarah. I'm sure lots of people um, want to ask the same thing. There's a little bit of a danger in looking at the other scores and and assuming. That you should have done something different uh, because bridge doesn't work like that really you can you can do the right thing and get a bad score and you can do the wrong thing and get a good score so the danger when you get a when you do something and you get a bad score the temptation is to look at what everybody else did and say i should have done that 
that maybe those other players were just lucky on this hand. So it is a little, you just got to be a little bit careful about taking, yeah. Does that make sense? You've got to be careful about looking at that, looking at the other schools. Marion's saying, uh, what about playing the king of hearts, finessing to the jack, and then overtaking the king of diamonds and playing the rest of the hearts? Totally right, um, Marion. And that was my other, that was the other thing I was toying with doing. Um, but I didn't want to waste the ace. I didn't want to overtake the king of diamonds with the ace. So I was being a little greedy there. But Marion, I think you're probably right. It's probably a safer way to play the hand, Marion. Sorry, I keep saying Marion. Marion, Marion. Good. Uh, I think that would be perfectly good way to play the hand, Marion. Maybe better. And SB is saying, yeah, others might get a different lead. Maybe they're playing a different bidding system, um, Sarah. So there's so many variables in the game. Just because you get a bad score doesn't mean you did something wrong. Uh, anyway, let's go again. So one diamond, one heart here. Notice that I've got a diamond fit, but I wasn't still important to show the four card major there. I've actually got five of them. One diamond, one heart, two clubs, seven, eight, nine, ten high card points. So North does have uh, five diamonds and four clubs. If North had four diamonds and four clubs, he would have either opened no trump or rebid no trumps. So we do have a diamond fit here. So one thing I could do here is bid not enough to go to game, but we do have enough to I want to invite to game. So I could bid three diamonds. That's one option. I could bid my hearts again, but they're not good. There's only five of them. They're not great. And I'm not super keen on that. The other thing I can do is bid two no trumps. I kind of like two no trumps on this hand because in the likely event that we get a spade lead, it's going to be better for me to be the declarer because that way the lead's coming round to my king jack of spades. If I bid three diamonds and north bids three no trumps, which is quite likely, then east is going to be on lead and that spade lead is going to go through through there. So I want to be holding the king jack so I can wait to see what everybody else plays. Uh, okay. And again, um, for you, Sarah, and others, another good comment from Bernadette. You just don't know what happened at the other table. So the scores, even if we can see the scores, it's we've got to make all these inferences about what happened at the other table, and we just don't know. So, yeah. I'm sure there's a zillion people who totally hear you, Sarah, and want to look at those other scores. But anyway, let's, let's, uh, let's play this hand, look at the other scores, and talk, talk, talk this through a bit more. Okay, so I'm going to bid two no trumps uh, because I want to be the one bidding no trumps. West is going to lead a spade. Yeah, there you go. And maybe didn't matter because North had the 10 of spades, but I still kind of like to be playing this hand. And we've got five diamond tricks. We've got uh, two club tricks, so that's seven. We've got one spade trick, so that's eight. We're still a trick short. So we've no guarantees with this um, at all. Ace, and this is getting worse. So one bit of good news is that at least the spades break. 4-4. Four, four. So I'm only going to lose three spade tricks. Um, we can see that because West led the three of spades. So it's almost... almost um, that'll be almost certainly a four-card suit. And West has led his fourth highest spade there. So we're going to lose only three spade tricks, but the problem is we're also going to lose the ace-king and queen of hearts. So 
So I think I'm actually, I, honestly, I think I'm going to go down. Uh, I just don't have enough tricks. You know, I could play a heart. Who's the clearer? No, I can't even play a heart because that's North Hand is the dummy. As soon as I play a heart, someone's just going to play the Ace of Hearts. So I, I'm down. I'm just down. Um, okay, too bad. I can play diamonds, I suppose, and just maybe they'll throw away some stuff. But I really, I'm, I think I'm down on this hand. There's one spade. Oh, there's two spades gone. Well, that's some good news. A couple of hearts gone. That's some more good news. Club and a club gone. Well, so two spades and a heart. You know, I could just play a spade, let them take their one spade, and maybe they switch to a hearts and give me a heart trick. Let's try that. I'm just going to play a spade. Yeah, okay, so there's my heart trick. Now, so my jack of hearts is now set up. Oh, there we go, look at that. Whoa. Jack of hearts, uh, and now we can take the ace king of clubs. All right, now, so sorry to labor the point, but I'm going to hammer this home a little bit more. It's kind of, now, Sarah and others, I'm, I'm saying Sarah because it was a really good comment, and I really appreciate you making the comment, Sarah. So for Sarah and others who are worried about the scores, when you actually look at my result there, uh, and it looks great because I've got 97%, in actual fact, three no trumps was not a good contract. We were too high. Um, the best contract was actually three diamonds, two diamonds, three diamonds. That was high enough. I just got lucky because of some soft defense. So those players who actually stopped in three diamonds actually bid better than me. My bidding was bad, but I get a good score. Now, if you just look at the scores for this hand, and let's just look at the scores. Okay, so look at these, all these three no trump players, and they're making that, and you look at that and think, oh, I should have been three no trumps. But that tells, that picture tells a lie, because three no trumps was not a good contract. We just got lucky. Looking at the scores says, oh, I should have been three no trumps. But shouldn't have. It was a, we got lucky. Uh, second comment I want to make is that someone um, made a comment on the YouTube channel, which get, it was good. I appreciate it. I'm not um, I'm happy with the comment. The comment was it, these videos that I do would be more instructive if the computer played better. And, you know, that's great. You know, I take the point and all the rest of it. Well, you know, the computer is not going to play better. <laughs> I wrote the computer program, and it does it. It plays terrible sometimes. I know I get that. Um, the, what I I hope though that even if the computer makes a mistake, we can still kind of get value from doing these things because we can look at the mistakes and learn from the mistakes that the computer makes, just like we can learn from our own mistakes. Um, you know, if I could write a better computer program, I would, but. Hopefully, we can still uh, enjoy and get some value out of this. Uh, okay, um, let's play hand five. So all comments and questions, great, apart from um, one one comment on YouTube last week. <laughs> Someone said on YouTube, on the YouTube channel last week, uh, I hate to play with you as a partner <laughs> and the only way I'd play with you as a partner, Graham, is if you paid me. <laughs> but we don't need those comments. You know, let's have let's have let's have some nice 
let's work with each other, right? Let's be nice to each other. We don't have to, we don't have to agree, but let's be nice. Okay, one heart pass, uh, two diamonds. And for that, and for those who can't be nice, I want to give you a hug. <laughs> I, I do. Just feel the love. Okay, one heart, two diamonds. Uh, again, no. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Look, oh. what do we do this time? Again, looks kind of good, but looks kind of bad as well. Yeah, slam. Look, look. Yes, yeah, slam. Maybe it could be. It could be great. Partner might not have any diamonds or might not have any clubs. So I don't know which slam to bid. Maybe diamonds. Um, the problem with aces is that there's really only one ace that's going to be any good to me. You know, if partner's got the ace of spades or even the ace of hearts, they don't do me any good at all. If I'm playing in six diamonds, say, say I choose to bid six diamonds, the ace of diamonds would be a good ace to have. The king of clubs would be a good king to have. But the ace of spades, the ace of hearts, the king of spades, the king of hearts, they don't really do me any good. So I can't do it. And so David's saying crow, color rank odd. Yeah, there's dip. If I had some sophisticated ace asking convention, then yeah, I could, but I, I don't have that option available. So asking for aces on this hand, given that we're just playing simple blackwood, is no good. I could bid three clubs just to see what happens. You know, North can't pass that because it's a new suit um, at the three level. So maybe North supports the clubs or maybe North supports the the diamonds, I don't know. So that would be okay. Um, so, yeah, Marianne's saying, could I show my clubs? Yes, absolutely. In fact, I think that's probably what I should do. To be honest, I see, I sort of want to just bid six diamonds. I don't think it's – I don't know what to do on that. And I kind of just want to bid six diamonds. Maybe it'll make – maybe it won't. But I think Marianne, yeah, three clubs is certainly the technically the best bid. Three no trumps. I don't know. I still just want to bid six diamonds. Maybe partner's got the ace of diamonds. Maybe partner's got the king of clubs. Maybe I'm going to go down on six diamonds. But it's Monday night. Feeling good. I had COVID last for the last week. When I left you on Monday night last week, I had a little sniffle in my nose and I spent the last week in bed. But I'm back in action. Here we go. Partner's going to have the king of clubs. Nope. But at least part had the ace of diamonds. Okay, so this looks oh, and the king of spades. Okay, so well, I was going to say we can play ace of clubs and another club, but we've still got a club to lose. So I can play the king of spades, which is going to force out the ace, and I can rough. Um, then I'm going to have the Ace of Hearts and the Queen of Spades to get rid of two of those. I can rough one of my clubs. So it looks like I'm going to make six clubs, uh, six diamonds probably. Now, so let's play the King here. East plays the Ace and I rough. I could go over to the Ace of Diamonds, finesse the club, then play the ace of clubs, then rough a club. And if his east has got the king of clubs, then I'm probably going to make all the tricks. The danger is that if I uh, do that and the club finesse loses, if I cross to the ace of diamonds, finesse the club, the club finesse loses, and west plays another diamond, i got no entries to the table. So I don't want to risk having trumps drawn on me. So I'm just going to attempt to rough one club, throw one of them on the Queen of Spades and one of them on the Ace of Hearts. So here we go. I'm just going to, can I, yeah, I can afford to throw one now. 
I can. Well, I'm just going to play a dime to the king first. Does it really doesn't matter? I'm just going to play a dime into the king. Now I'm going to rough. I sort of at least this way I could draw one round of trumps. Oh, actually, my queen of clubs is a winner now. Look at that. Um, so clubs did break 3-3. So all I've got to do is get back to my hand now. I don't need to play the ace of hearts and throw the club because my queen is a winner. So I can simply rough a heart and play all the rest of the tricks. And they're all mine. So we make six. Now, as it happens, had I crossed to the ace of diamonds, Finesse the club, rough the club, I would have made seven. But I suspect, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a good score here anyway. 95, yeah. So 95 is pretty good. Had I gone for that extra one trick to get a little bit more percentage, then the danger is that I give away that you know, really good 95% score that I've already got. So while over tricks um, are really important uh, in match point pairs, uh, if you think you're in a really good contract, then you don't want to be risking the score that you're going to get because you just have a feeling you're in a really good contract anyway. Okay, again, that was a little lucky. I, North might not have had the Ace of Diamonds so, or the King of Clubs. That would have been a disaster. So lucky guess. But we'll take it. Five, six high card points. So that's a pass. Turn of trumps. I think I'm set up to play Damon and Tr uh, transfers yet. I'm going to, you know, there's lots of different ways I could bid this. I could transfer to hearts and then bid spades. Um, but I don't know. I'm just going to bid three clubs. And if North bids three spades, I'll support the spades. And if North doesn't bid, um, if, you know, if North bids three dimes or something, I'll just bid four hearts. That would be reasonable. Probably the better technically better ways to do it would be to transfer to hearts. So three diamonds, north bids three hearts, and then I bid three spades, showing five hearts and four spades. And I can still get to play in four hearts. So that's one way to bid it, but I'm just going to go this way. Three spades. Okay, awesome. All right, so north um, gets to be the clearer, which is kind of good. This worked out okay. Had I transferred to hearts, and then bid spades myself, I would have been declarer, but I kind of like North being the declarer here because the leads, uh, we get North to be declarer, and hopefully we can use that heart suit as a good side suit. Okay, so that's cool. So yeah, happy to have North as declarer there. It, poor old East didn't know what to lead, so East has led a diamond. And another diamond, okay. Mm, interesting. So I kind of want to... Yeah, interesting. I was, I was thinking of setting the heart suit up. And if I set the heart suit up, I, I really like to be in the south hand so I could finesse the heart, you know, heart to the jack, ace of hearts, get back and forth. But I'm a bit short of entries to the south hand to do that. So now I'm thinking, ace of diamonds. What if I just play, what if I throw away my two clubs? What if I just play diamond, throw away a club? You know, uh, most, sort of what I want to do is instead of setting up the south hand, just rough the losers from the north hand. So I'm looking at those 
the north hand and thinking, if I can just rough those two clubs, no diamond to lose after ace of diamonds and another diamond. So no diamonds to lose. I've got two clubs, which I can rough. Uh, ace jack of hearts, so I might be able to finesse the heart without setting the heart suit up. The problem with the clubs is if I go ace of clubs, king of clubs, rough a club, there's a chance that I might be over roughed. So what I might do is I might just throw away those two clubs immediately on the king jack of diamonds. Then I'm likely, more likely to be able to rough the clubs immediately without having to play the ace king. So I'm less likely to be over roughed. So I think I'm going to do that. There's a chance. There's a chance that someone's going to be short in diamonds, but I think I'm still going to do this. I think this is worth the risk. Okay, good. Now, so now my clubs are gone. I can hopefully rough these uh, clubs without getting over roughed. I think I want to, I sort of want to play king of spades over to the ace, rough a club, and if spades break, I can then afford to take the heart finesse. Can I, can I afford to take the heart finesse now? It wouldn't, it wouldn't be great to take the heart finesse and find then it loses and someone roughs a heart. So I think I'm just going to play uh, king of spades, ace of spades, rough a club, finesse the heart, Providing spades break. So here we go. Uh, King of spades. Oh, no, that's not that's not good. That's not good. Okay, so this is going to have to be plan B. <laughs> so it looks like East has got... West isn't fooling around there. I know that West. And that was a singleton queen for sure. So East has got um, Jack 9 and... Uh, what jack nine, whatever it was, to seven. Did I have the seven of spades? Jack nine and another spade. So we got a couple of spades to lose. Hmm. Well, maybe I, I mean, I can still rough a club. I can finesse the heart. If the heart finesse works, that's great. If the heart finesse, I think I gotta. So yeah, I don't have to lose two spades if I play a spade towards the jack, but I do have a club to lose. So I'm gonna finish the heart. Oh, okay. So that's good news and bad news. That's good news and bad news. It's not actually that. In fact, it's actually good news. It's good news because I had to lose that spade anyway. And in fact, I still have to lose one more spade because West East has got two spades left. So the spade rough didn't actually hurt me. I can now simply rough this um, club and I still have a spade to lose, but I've only got one spade to lose. So I don't mind that East roughed the heart. In fact, I'm kind of happy in a way. Um, I'm super happy that West had the king of hearts. So we're going to end up making this contract. I've just got one spade to lose, which East can take whenever she wants. And there we go. So we end up with 10 tricks. Oh, there's a bit hair raising in the end that we got there. Look at that. Hearts would have been gruesome, wouldn't it? <laughs> So, yeah, look, I mean, again, it's some, I bet you lots of players are in four hearts, which is a perfectly good contract. It just, that those people who are playing hearts are unlucky because the hearts break so badly. At least the spades only broke a little bit badly. So, um, you know, those people playing in hearts saying, ah, oh, oh, I should have been spades. But, but no, you're just unlucky. So you don't want to be you know, worrying about the other schools, really. Maybe that's the message for the night. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, let's uh, move on. Let's play hand seven. Three, four high card points. So that's a, yeah, it's a pass. Look, I know some players are going to open that a week, two and hearts. Seen players open that sort of thing, three hearts, but not for me. I can't quite bring myself to bid on those hands. Not at this vulnerability. If you want to bid two hearts, I don't, you know, it's cool. I know lots would, but I just can't quite bring myself to do that. Kind of glad I didn't now. Two clubs pass, pass, pass. Wow. David's told we need two honours. Yeah, it's normal. I tell you what, though, uh, David, I know a lot of good players who would open this hand two hearts, even at this vulnerability, and not vulnerable. To be honest, not vulnerable, I would. Um, because Queen 10 9 is pretty good. Um, the, uh, the, yeah, the, I want to not say younger, but the modern style with preempts is pretty aggressive. So if you're looking at um, some of the older books, always recommend two of the top three honors and all that sort of stuff. Yep, that's what you read about in the books. And if you've if you're learning from uh, somebody who's been playing for a long time, <laughs> you may get told that. But the reality is, these days players can be pretty aggressive with their week two openings. Um, anyway, for better or worse, not for me at this vulnerability. I'm just going to pass. There's nothing for me to do here. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're just following suit. Really, I think we're pretty much out of this hand. We get a rest. This is a rest hand for us. Uh, I don't know. I sort of. What's West got? Six. I don't know, six clubs or something, three spades, four diamonds, three. I think I can play a heart here. I sort of don't want to play diamonds. I want to let Declare play diamonds himself. Is this, it would be annoying if West had a void in hearts, but, you know, not so annoying. Declare is always going to be able to take a heart trick sometime anyway because that queen of diamonds is going to be an entry to the heart so. So I'm just going to play a heart. There you go. That's what we wanted. And then now the good thing is Declare is playing diamonds himself. Oh, perfect. All right, so great. Awesome. The fact that Declare played diamonds himself means that Declare only gets one diamond trick. Um, because, yeah, always it's... Uh, Always great if the opposition can be the ones playing the suit first. Okay, so, so this has worked out well. So I get this one. I can safely play the Ten of Hearts now. And Declara makes eight tricks. And we get another good score. Okay, so just look at that diamond suit again. Had I played a small diamond, you know, six of diamonds, West plays small. If declare, if North plays the ace, that sets up the king queen. If North plays, you know, maybe North can play the ten or whatever. And but it's much harder for us to defend if I play diamonds. It's much nicer to let the opposition start the suit themselves they are so davis yep there you go go for it david vulnerability though david do it vulnerable you know you're on your own but if you're not vulnerable not vulnerable aggressive preempts seem to be 
they seem to work more often than not. They don't always work, but I don't mind pushing the boat out when the vulnerability's right. But yeah, blame me. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these chaps. Broad shoulders here, pal. Okay, uh, where are we up to? Let's play the next hand. And eight, five, seven. Look at this. One heart, two diamonds, four hearts. You know, anything could be right here. Uh, actually, there's a uh, there's. Uh, let me tell you about a uh, another little gem, not my gem. There's a, a very, very, very fine New Zealand bridge player, uh, Stephen Blackstock. Very super good player, and uh, he always said in these high level auctions, whenever he was captain of the team or whatever, or, or even a play, very, very good player, he always said high level auctions, just make your best guess. Do it. Don't discuss it. Don't worry about it because high-level decisions are always hard. There's always some guesswork involved, so don't beat yourself up. So I'm going to bid something, and it might be right or it might be wrong. I don't know. And even after the auction's over, I still don't know what the right thing to do will be. So I could bid five clubs. I've got a seven-card suit. I could bid five diamonds, and I've only got two, but... At least north bid diamonds. I could bid four spades. I'm a four card suit. I don't know. At least it's getting the four card major in. I could um, pass. Could well be right. Just sit and defend four hearts. Anything could be right. Four spades, pass, five clubs, five diamonds, double. I don't know. But I'm going to do something just out of the blue here. I can't always like that. <laughs> Uh, I probably should have been five clubs. I'm just going to pass. Let's have a bit of fun and see what happens here. I think this will be a disaster. Yeah, five clubs would have been better. <laughs> oh, well, here you go. Uh, I'm going to play... Oh, maybe. You know, may. I don't know. Look, let's try this. I'm going to rough... Finesse the spade. Kind of rough. Now I could make if, if spades break and the and West has got the Queen of Spades, I can actually make this. You know, I, I could let's just suppose, for example. It's kind of silly hand. I don't think I did the good thing here, but ignore that. So suppose I rough with a 10 and play a spade, and suppose I just finesse the spade, and suppose spades break 3-3 three, three, and West had the queen of spades. <laughs> All right? So if that's the case, I've nine of spades wins, I play the king of spades, spades break 3-3, three, three, Draw. that's all the trumps gone, I can run all the clubs, I make the rest of the tricks, four spades, Five, four spades double making six would be a great score. Now, the danger is that, um, to be honest, I don't think I should have done that at all. I think I should have roughed and then just played clubs. And uh, look, I, to be honest, I, I think we're just going to get this hand over and done with. Yeah, this is awful. This is just dreadful now. I'm just going to basically give up. Um, David's saying who doubled. It's, I don't think it matters. I think someone was always going to... I don't think it matters. I think someone was always going to double me. I just have to hope spades break. They don't, so this is even worse. So, okay, I just got a zero. I got a bottom. So what am I... Uh, four off. Zero <laughs> percent. There you go. So that one's for you. Um, you know, what was the name? I can't remember. 
the, the woman who said she never wanted the woman who said she'd hate to play with me and I and would only pay with me if I played her with I play if I played her <laughs> on YouTube last week. <laughs> that was for you, pal. <laughs> All right, let's play hand nine. Let's let's be serious here. Eight, nine. I card points a club. Just gonna bit of diamond here. And heart. I can bid two diamonds, six card suit. I can bid a no trump. I like a no trump. I've got ace ten of spades. Same sort of thing as before. I mean, if I had, even if I had, say, ace two of spades, I might be tempted to bid two diamonds. But ace ten, those are pretty good cards. And on the likely spade lead, I want to be the declarer with ace ten. But if I had ace two, I'd probably rather north was the declarer and no trumps. So the ace ten's good enough for me to really want to get that no trump played from my side. And west leads the king of diamonds. Well, there you go. I'm surprised about that, but there you go. Now, as it happens, the spades didn't make any difference who played them. We, we still only had two spade tricks. So what do we got? Well, two spade tricks, a heart is three, uh, a diamond is four, two club tricks is six. Where can we get one more trick? We could set up the um, club suit. Or we could you know, set up the diamond suit. Maybe my hand's hidden. If I play king of, if I just let this diamond run, West may well play another diamond. Or I could just win the ace of diamonds and, oh yeah, I'm just going to duck. I mean, my hand's hidden. East and west can't see my hand. So if I play the eight here and the two, poor old west can't see my hand. So he might play another diamond. Then again, he might not. He might switch to hearts. We just can't tell. So west did well there to switch. Still, this isn't bad. I mean... Two, three, queen. Notice that I've got ace nine. So my hearts are pretty good. That's not so good. That's that's not so good. That's not so good. Yeah, that's not so good. All right, so my, I guess my contracts, I can still make my contract easily enough because I can just win a spade. I can just concede a heart to the king and end up with two spade tricks, two heart tricks, two club tricks, and one diamond trick. So I can make one okay, but I'm not convinced that's going to be a good score uh, because someone, you know, is, I don't think one no trump making one here is going to be good. I think I need to make more than one no trump to get a good score here. So that's a little troubling. Maybe I should just win this spade and, and try and set up the club suit. Trouble with that is that if the clubs don't break, then I could go down on my one no trump contract. So oh, I don't love it. Oh, 10 of spades, one. Okay, all right, okay, good, good, good. All right, so that's something. So now... Now what? Well, now I'm going to make two anyway, so I'm just going to make two safely. Oh, now I might even make three. So now I'm going to attempt to set the club suit up. Ace. Um, all right, Ace of Hearts. Let's just hope the clubs break now. Oh, look at that. So we end up with, um, uh, what have we got? Lots of tricks. Ten tricks. And, um, 
you know, again, I, the, the, again, just coming back to the comment that um, someone left on the channel last week, perfectly good comment. No, it's, it's great talking about the way the computer makes mistakes sometimes. And yeah, yeah, I mean, East could have led the Queen of Spades. Not necessarily the right thing to do. You know, West was a bit unlucky. I had Ace-10 ten, ten here. So not... In this case, I can understand why East would play a small spade, not the Queen. You know, it wouldn't be so good if West had a singleton 10 of spades, for example. But, yeah, sometimes the computer does mess up. I still think there's value. Um, I do. I, I still think there's value when mistakes abound because, heck, I make plenty of mistakes myself as I'm playing, as you guys all know. But hopefully it's still instructive anyway. But yeah, I know I get it. I take the point, and um, all all well received. Thank you, everybody. Thank thanks for making the comment. I can't remember who it was. Can't remember the name off the top of my head. But thank you. Okay, six seven high card points. All vowel. Okay, David. This one's for David. David, we're gonna. You know, we're supposed to have. If I'm going to open three speeds. I'm supposed to have two of the top three honours, and I don't. Well, I'm not saying I'm supposed to, but what's the word? Traditionally, the vulnerable preempt is supposed to have two of the top, is expected to have two of the top three honours. So my spades aren't really good enough. Also, I've got, I'd rather not have so much strength outside. So I don't think three spades is right here. I don't love it. If I were not vulnerable, I would certainly bid three spades. Or at least I do something on that. I might have in one spade, but, but I do something not vulnerable. Vulnerable, I don't like it. Um, so, what about two spades? All right, David's going with two spades. So, okay, let's, let's try that. I don't think that's the worst bit in the world. I don't think three spades is the worst bit in the world. I don't think pass is the worst bit in the world. Anything could be right. Two spades is normally a six card suit and three spades is a seven card suit, but they're just not very good spades. So let's let's see what happens. Let's go with David's idea of two spades. Not quite good enough for three, don't really want to pass. So let's go with two spades. Um, I don't know, it might work, might be okay. Three diamonds, pass, pass, and that's definitely a pass. That's a clear cut pass now. Having already kind of pushed the boat out a bit here, we definitely do not want to be coming back in again now. It's Teresa saying, how about one spade? Yeah. I don't know. You know, again, I don't if you're looking for if you're looking for the right or wrong answers, you don't come asking me. <laughs> Well, I can, you know, I can give you some ideas and stuff. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we need one speed. I'm not awful. Um, okay, so pass, pass, pass. And David's saying shame. Not necessarily, David. I don't. I think this is, may have worked out well. Um, you know, our objective isn't always to get to play the hand. One thing we're trying to do with, the two spade bid is to make bidding awkward for the opposition. <clears throat> so three diamonds might be the right contract for East and West, but it could well be the wrong contract. You know, maybe they can make three no trumps. Maybe they're going to only make two diamonds. Maybe they should be in hearts. We have made it difficult for them to bid. They bid three diamonds. We put the pressure on. They might not be in the right contract here because of... David, your two spade bid. So I don't. I think this is a good thing. Well, with those diamonds, they may well have hit the spot there, but you know maybe they could have made three no trumps. I don't know. So yeah, we don't uh, playing the hand isn't the only reason to open two spades. Oh. Oh, okay, five. So they had five diamond tricks. Ace of spades is six. Yeah. 
probably ha! four two five. How about that? Four two five. I'm tempted to play the <laughs> three here just to, but no, I got to win the ace. What? There's a deep finesse. Um, uh, I just play club. Yeah, all right. So they wouldn't have made three no trumps. But no, oh, really, North. Okay, so North just really messed that one up. That was his North. That wasn't good. Yeah. So that contract should have gone down one, but it's going to make. Yeah. Okay. So for some inexplicable reason, North um, overtook my club. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> All right, so North messed that up. So, but look, there we go. We kind of, we kind of had them where we want them. So our bidding was a success, but the patience sort of died. Look, they would have made hearts as well. Anyway, there we go. Um, Diana's saying, can you open two spades with seven cards? Sure, you can. You're allowed to do that. Um, you can open three spades on a six card suit as well if you want to uh, so yeah good one okay thank you everybody good fun as always um, look forward to seeing you again sometime soon good night all thanks <laughs>